Hey guys, Taylor Mongus has here coming on you with another let's play and today we're gonna be let's playing mission 6 through 10 of Alien Shooter Tower Defense on expert mode. Now in case you want to see the arsenal, well here goes. I have these two legendary shotguns. My shotgunners are level 22. I have a level 26 machine gunner with legendary minigun. Level 12 ice gunner with legendary ice gun and flamethrower. Level 15 sniper with the legendary Hellcat rifle. Level 12 um, rocket guy with the legendary rocket launcher. Level 12 ray gunner with this ray gun. And level 12 plasma gunner with the legendary plasma gun. Fully upgraded. Alright, so let's play on expert mode. Mission 6. And for now, let's choose the ice gunner, shotgunner, machine gunner, and the rocket guy. And start. Seems they're going to be coming from both paths, so let's put a chain gunner right here. Alright, we've got a few of these lobster thingies, clusters. <laughs> lobsters. Or scorpions. Yeah, sometimes I wonder how Sigma Team comes up with the concept designs of, of these aliens. We've got some four-legged spiders, you know, and some of these lobster creatures, and some caterpillars and bats. I'm putting some shotgunners closer to the entrance because they do so much damage to armor. I'm putting some machine gunners closer to the exit to finish off anyone that gets past. I'm using machine gunners to fill all the slots. This is expert mode where there isn't any reward for in for in level cash, so we might as well just spend it as much as we can. We're probably pretty unstoppable at this point. No one's gonna get past. Uh, uh. Really make sure, just in case the game decides to put any surprise powerful characters at the end.
8,725. Now we're just gonna try to level up all our units. Now the shotgunner's at level 23. Alright, now let's do Expert Mode of Mission 7 using the same units. Mm -hmm. Well, Mission 7. And I might as well use the uh, Plasma Gunner. Place a Plasma Gunner here and a Machine Gunner back here. Oh, one of them made it past. Alright, new plan. So, again, put two machine gunners back here, and one shotgunner up here. Do a ton of damage. 15,000. And. Oh, there, there's these things too. The lizards. They're pretty tough. And let's add an ice gunner right here. And. Now we build all the spots and we're unstoppable. Now we just sit here and wait for the level to complete. I mean, this game mode is somewhat more boring though. Because of how, how long it is. going on for 9 minutes. Certainly since we're playing through expert mode for 5 missions for this episode of the Let's Play, the video is going to be kind of long, probably in the 20 or 30 minute range, even though it's still nowhere near as long as some of the Let's Play episodes of Splinter Cell that I've made. By the way, recently we also did some walkthrough videos for a mission to spin itself. So far I've made walkthroughs for the first two missions that aren't training. So yeah, four missions to the station and defense ministry. Hmm. 
And you know, maybe I should also make a let's play episode of playing this red vampire mode of the same missions 6 through 10. Even though that might be a little while longer though because that game mode is much harder. Even though I did manage to win through that game mode for these first five missions. Eh, but still, I'll record them and then upload it as an episode of Let's Play. Alright, next. Mission 8 Expert Mode. Same units. Shotgun her here. And then take out these first two wizards. And then you land mine to assist a little machine gun with our fear. Take out anyone that gets past. types of alien I'm most worried about are the, the small and fast TRVs ones. The small fast ones that come in large numbers. Because they're pretty hard to deal with. Well, not anymore because they have all the shotgunners and machine guns, but otherwise they are good for So pretty hard enemies. These guys are some of the best at conserving ammo because of the upgrades for ammo replenishment. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should also add it in right here. Oh, we have a couple of blade.
Yeah, let's try to max out the machine gunner as quickly as possible. Increasing his rate of fire is the only upgrade left. Now, mission 9 expert mode. Oh, that thing. Machine gunner back here and the plasma gunner take out these super tough aliens. I might as well also add an ice gunner to slow down the aliens. And another machine gunner to really make sure no one gets past. So we have more machine gunners. These guys have 24,000 health. I wonder how well the, the rocket launcher guy would have done against these green things. He probably one shot them. Because this plasma guy is taking two shots. Shotgunners have knocked back, so I just them to these places to yeah, I want to try to keep the aliens from getting past. But yeah, as an extra precaution, I place these machine gunners here anyways to really make sure that even if somehow one of these guys get past all these towers, that they still don't make it to the exit. going to be one more
after we complete expert mode for mission 10, that's gonna be the end of this video. Now the fire rate of the machine gunners are 1666. Alright, um, and same units, let's do it. This mission has been harder than the, the last few. I think mainly because of the big two points. And not any places that can attack both points. But we've made it now. Well, we have made it to escape. Why would you call it escape? Is it because these guys are assholes? And done. Alright, so for next time, we're either going to be playing th through missions 11 through 15 on easy difficulty, or we might be playing missions 6 through 10 on vampire mode. Uh, so, see ya.